I, I don't think it's fair. I haven't requested, I haven't actually gone on and requested money from any lawyers um, per se. I've had lawyers contribute to my campaign who are friends and family. I've had lawyers contribute to my campaign who I've not um, solicited it. Um, but they're friends, and they've been friends, and I'm not going to tell them they can't um, donate to my, com my campaign. But again, obviously by telling you I've only raised twelve to $15,000, it hasn't been a lot of money. Um, but uh, that's about all I, I probably will raise for the primary and, and there are people to what I can do. There said that they think that, that uh, they'll spend $100,000 or more. There have been a couple of them, maybe even more than a couple, or there have been estimates that that's what it's going to take, if you will. If that's true, how do you, how do you compete against that? Because I don't believe that's what it takes. Uh, you know, I, and I tell this to people, everybody I meet, I tell people, I say, I'm only going to win this election if you go out and you tell people about me. And if you tell people about me and tell them what I'm like and tell them that you know me and who I am, where I come from, you know, I mean, I've, I've lived in this area all my life. A, a lot of people do know me. Um, they know my family. My family's been here all, all my life, you know, all their lives. Obviously been here all my life. And, um, you know, my grandparents worked in the mines. My father owned a small business, Blue Collar. He started it up with his brother. They raised it up themselves and owned the business and supported their families with that. And, uh, you know, my wife's family, they come from miners and garment workers. And these, they know us. And I just tell them, you just need to get out and talk to people for me. And you, I need to win this by word of mouth because I'm not going to be able to win it any other way. Um, you know, I, I'm going to have a small commercial that I'll do, and I'll run a little bit right before the election. That's all I'll be able to do. Um, I, I don't have big billboards anywhere. I have some signs that Bill's unhappy about now because they're all over his neighborhood because he lives near my mother. So, <laughs> but um, you know, I have some signs out. Um, do you think there should be reform in the in the process for electing judges? Well, I, I'm not going to tell you if you if you have money, good for you, and that you shouldn't spend it. But what I'm telling the people out there is, is you shouldn't vote for somebody because you see their picture on a, on a billboard or because you, you, you saw their advertisement on TV uh, or, or because you saw 6,000 of their signs. I mean, you should vote for them because you, you, you know something about them or because somebody knows them and they've told you about them and you, and you trust that individual that that person's a good person. I mean, I'll tell you right now, I'll give you my phone number. If you want to publish my number and tell them anybody wants to call me, free, feel free to do so. I'll talk to anybody who wants to talk to you about the campaign. I'm happy to do so. Um, you know, again, simply because I'm kind of a one-man band here. Uh, I mean, I have, it's basically my family and friends that are helping me run the campaign. I don't have a campaign manager, per se. I, I don't have people out there all over the county who are, you know, here and there who are Steve Ming for judge people. I mean, I just have us. And we go out as much as we can and we get together and we try to talk to people and we try to, um, you know, tell them a little bit of who I am and, and what I stand for. And if that's what you want for a judge, great.